Thank you. Yeah. I'm We'd like to thank Kurt and Cheryl for hosting this series for the last seven years here at the High Falls Cafe. Yeah. And before us, uh, Scott Barkhan, and before that, Jim Lord and his friends, and it was a great couple of sets tonight, so thanks for being here. I guess I want to start with a, uh, a couple of songs I really don't know that well, because they're kind of new for me, even though I've written them. <laughs> with me tonight on Bales uh, Larry Balestra on percussion. <laughs> J.P. Hunter, Jason Song. Say nothing. <laughs>
on these occasions. <laughs> Percussionist, master and punk player, Larry Balestra. <laughs> Here on the bass guitar, like the truck, Mr. J.B. Hunt. time on this one and see if I can... <laughs> I'm asking if they have opinions, but suddenly they don't have any. Okay, so it's all up to me. <laughs> Ooh. 
years. I'm going to do the title cut from the CD that I did release a while back. And I'd like to send this one out to the table in the back. Sorry, I'm tuning in because I care. You can find me online at www.doreen.com. If you can spell my name, it's like Lorraine with a D. D-O-R-R-A-I-N-E. Or just go online and put some music. Actually, KurtHenryBand.com. That's a good one, too, because you can find everything in the I, I thought Lorraine was Doreen with an L. I'd like to thank Kurt and Cheryl once again for hosting this awesome series every time here at the High Falls Cafe. Sometimes emotions get the better part of me And I'm left wondering if things were really ever meant to be And I don't know what's right, but what is wrong And I'm not sure where I belong But one thing that I've figured out If love is like a song I'm gonna sing
down a little bit. When I was a kid, uh, I used to like kind of snoop around in my grandparents' old house, and I found this diary of my great grandmother's. Her name was Mabel, and that's also the name of the song. And I used to read it and stuff, so I felt like I knew her, even though we never met her. Anyway, this is going out to her wherever she is. <laughs>
Michelle Crow. Street from that place. 
And before 911, you could actually go there, you could go swimming, you could go skinny dipping, you could go fishing without a permit or anything. Anyway, I wrote a song. It's probably more like because I can't see. <laughs> Alright, here's one from my old CD here, and it's called Basin Full of Tears. I'm going to feature Larry on the Ocean Drum on this one.
Thank you.